been a little while since I have done one of these videos. <clears throat> As Monday morning, hear the morning in my voice. Anyone else like that? Takes me out a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm happy to be back. Hopefully, doing these again for a little while. Um, it's been gosh, it's probably been close to a year since I've done one of these. A lot has happened in a year, or however many months it's been. But yeah, we are milking again on Monday mornings. We've been milking for a long time. Longer than we expected. So I'm just going to kind of talk today about what's been happening. Um, so actually, give me a minute and let me start this because I don't know if you remember. If you've been watching these, the first few, the first little bit, it's kind of loud in the bucket. So let me start it. discharge and I thought oh I'll discharge is normal during pregnancy um but he just he was he was good about it he was like no there's something wrong this isn't right um so I got a hold of uh, friends of ours who have the ones that help us a lot who have the dairy farm and um got a hold of the vet and they were just like well without you know gloving up and looking there's really nothing much we can tell you you know it could just be normal um so I again I'm not home, so I'm trying to like get a hold of I'm on the phone here and I'm trying to get a hold of my husband and you know get updates here. You know, it was just it was crazy, you know. Anyways, well long story short, she ended up aborting that calf. It was awful. It was so heartbreaking. He just he you know, there was nothing he could do. He did everything he could. Um and that she just, we don't even know why. She just all of a sudden just had that calf way too early. It was a bull calf. Um, it was so heartbreaking. In fact, when I got home that night, I ran, you know, I went straight to the barn and um, Mike wishes he had had this on video, but I went right up to Apple and she put her head on my shoulder and it was like, and she gave me, you know, it was like she was hugging me for a long time. It wasn't just a fluke, like she stood there hugging me. It was just the sweetest thing, but it was heartbreaking because I didn't know what that meant for Apple. You know, I was worried about her health. She had just dried off and it was very sudden and, um, you know, that could be really uh, traumatic to them, of course. And um, I was worried about us with getting milk, you know, like, especially with everything going on. Um, and we're in Wisconsin. It's not like we could just buy milk from someone. Um, you know, we were thinking, oh my gosh, if we breed her now, or, or, you know, we have to give her a little time, and then we're looking at another year without milk, and 
um, you know, that was the selfish part of me. <laughs> and, um, then I was worried about her, and, you know, she was clearly missing that calf and really confused why she didn't have a calf. And it was just, it was a lot of emotions. Plus, it took us so long to get her pregnant, and then we were like, what in the world? Well, after we, you know, calmed down a minute, I decided, well, okay, the, um, the vet and our friends said most likely she will not come into milk because she, um, it was early, it would have been about two months early, um, premature, and she had just dried off um, just about two months before. Oh my gosh, she probably won't come into milk. Well, lo and behold, she did. She started bagging up right away. Not a, not a, like a normal bagging up, but she bagged up clearly. So got a hold of our friends and they had a, just happened to have a calf at, you know, um, that was, that we could buy. So went up the very next morning, bought a little heifer calf. She's a Angus Holstein. And um, Apple didn't like her at first. She was a little, well, um, I think we were a little more nervous. I think Apple liked her, but the way she was acting had us believing that she didn't. Um, anyway, so it took us a little bit. She would let her nurse, no problem, but we couldn't just, sorry, Apple's annoyed with me. When she does that, she's annoyed. I don't know what you're annoyed about. Um, she wants grain. Past the point where I give her grain. <laughs> I'm talking too much. Finally, we let them be together, and Apple loves her and took her on. No problem. Absolutely adores her. In fact, we are struggling right now to get her to wean the dang calf. She won't. She we, She nurses still with the the nose ring in, so we have to have them completely separate, which stinks. But. They love each other so much. So that was great. So Apple came right back into milk. We've been milking her ever since, which was awful timing because, um, you know, we had like the fair. Well, so Apple didn't, we did not take her to the fair. She was, it was too much. Um, and then the canning season and I was in full swing of milk, full swing canning. Oh my gosh. It was rough. It was, it was a whirlwind. I don't really remember much of it. I remember we gave a lot to the pigs because I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I mean, we, we kept, of, of course, a lot for ourselves, but I couldn't be making cheese and yogurt and stuff. I just, I couldn't. Um, we have our limits, right? And mine was there. And plus, we are in our second year of homeschooling, which we were not expecting. We were completely like, um, you know, we started out 2020 homeschooling, like, we're just going to do this for this year, Lord, you know, right? That's all you're asking me, just one year. It was not something I wanted to willingly, but I knew that, all right, I kind of went in kicking and screaming. I think I've talked about this before, um, but I knew that God was telling me. I knew in my heart of hearts. Sometimes you just, like, you have those moments in your life, you know God's speaking to you, and I know he was for homeschooling because I... I wasn't exactly on board, but he was telling me this is the right thing to do. Anyway, well, we loved it. We, you know, God knows better, right? And he knew that we would. We love it. We love homeschool. It works. It's so not what I thought it was, and it works so well for our family. So not only did she have a calf at the end of July, then we had the fair. Oh, and we had a puppy. Because we're crazy. Um, 
you probably see him running around. He's big, he's a nine month old puppy now, but his name is Lincoln. He was born on the 4th of July and he is an Australian Shepherd. He is a puppy, but he's really a good boy. We do like him. Um, so it's just a crazy time. That's why morning milking with Melissa, it didn't commence right away because I was like, oh, crazy. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. And so then we started trying to breed her again. Uh, October, maybe. We bred her. Um, trying to think of when we first started. Maybe it was November. <sighs> so it's a big Roman. And no, it must have been October. October, I think we started trying to breed her. We did a cedar, which is like a, a hormonal insert. Um, it looks like a gigantic IUD birth control thing that goes in them. And um, you have, then you pull it out and then you, you AI them. It didn't work. Um, it did not work for us. Uh, we still had our the steers, like her Jack, you know, Jack the, the Wonder Steer. He was still around, and we still had Mac. Um, There's a lot of personal stuff that happened, and we didn't end up um, or things in our I should say, things in our personal life. That sounds better. That um, butchering the steers did not happen until um, a lot later than normal or planned. Anyways, um, so we still have the steers here, and Mac, Jersey, he really, he really liked Apple. So he would tell us when he, you know, when she was in heat. So, um, let's see, I think we bred her in, <laughs> I don't remember. Anyways, she's pregnant. <laughs> she finally took, um, I think that was, we bred her right before Christmas. It was December 23rd. And that was a complete, like, shot in the dark. That's a really wrong thing to say when we're talking about this. But um, she, we knew she was in heat, but she did not go into standing heat. We couldn't, um, couldn't find standing heat. Like, she just wasn't. Or I, I was probably missing it. It probably was, you know, when I was looking away or at night or something. And we knew she was in heat. And so I thought, well, you know what, let's. Let's get our friends out here and let's try it. And we actually AI'd her with one straw of Guernsey and one straw of Angus. And um, he, when he AI'd her, he said, oh, she's she's not past. You know, they can tell when it's too late. And she wasn't too late. But again, we never saw her standing. And that's like the key. And we're like, well, let's well try it, you know. Um, so yeah, he did, he AI'd her, and then she didn't go into heat again, and I thought, oh, I probably missed it, because she's, sometimes I can miss her cycles, sometimes, and I think at that point, no, we, we waited till after the next cycle to finally um, push her Mac, we wanted to have him around for that, nothing, never know what it's saving, so we had the vet out in February. And I was totally ready. Like, I literally had the cedar in my pocket to reinsert because I figured you can use it twice. Um, and it was washed. Um, I figured that we would probably have to do that again. I did not think she's pregnant. And, no, lo and behold, she's, she, uh, ultrasound in her, she literally goes, well, she's, she's definitely pregnant. And I went, what? She's what? <laughs> well, she's definitely pregnant. What? And I just, I like, Legit started tearing up and wanted to hug my vet, but she had her arm up my cow's rear end, so that was wouldn't be cool. Um, and yeah, and she was just checking for twins. She doesn't think there's a twin, and um, she does think it's a bull. At this point, I just want a healthy calf. <laughs> Will it stink that we have another bull out of her? Yeah, we have never had a heifer calf born on this farm. But healthy, healthy, healthy is all I want. So we joke, we don't know who the father is. <laughs> we will find out at birth. We have to see what the baby looks like. Pretend who the father is. <laughs> but I don't know. It's a bad joke, right? Probably politically incorrect. But um, no, it's going well. Um, so 
we we're excited. She's due um, at the end of September. So we're hoping that this time things go better. Again, we no one has really any idea why she aborted last calf. She was healthy. There's nothing wrong with her. Um, we just don't know. Sometimes things happen, right? We don't always have the answers. So we're just praying that this calf sticks and um, holds on tight and we have a calf again in September. Um, so then with her her little adopted calf's name is Fritter, Apple and Fritter. And Fritter is a beautiful, beautiful uh, heifer. She will make a good mama someday. Um, we have not decided if she will be a, we will like uh, breed her, She's because she's half Holstein. Um, if we'll breed her for a, another dairy cow or if we'll just breed her for a beef cow, because that would be nice too to have just a beefer to give us some steers or whatever. Um, you know, she's, but she's very, very well put together, very nice calf. <clears throat> Promise, we cannot put them in the same pasture. And it's so annoying because she immediately, immediately goes back to mom. And I'm not kidding, it's been months. Um, she just is stubborn and she really likes her mama's milk. And um, in fact, the other night, so we, in the cold months, we only have the barn food shelter. So we had to have Fritter in the um, in a stall, bedded down real good um, for a, a while. And so Mike was cleaning out the stalls it's been warmer now, so she's in a pasture. But um, um, he let her out for like 20 minutes, and I didn't realize that she had been out with Apple. And the next morning, I was like, I got like a whole gallon less. Is something wrong? And he's like, I only had him out, her out for like 20 minutes, and she went right back to it. Anyway, so that's a struggle. We are not sure what we're going to do, and I hope that we don't have to resort to selling Fritter, but. It's, an, it's not off the table, sadly, but um, we, can't, we can't have her just constantly on um, Apple. Apple will, she's a great mom, and she'll just let her nurse and nurse and nurse and nurse and nurse, and it will deteriorate her condition and, you know, compromise her health. So, um, not to mention, it takes away all the good stuff for us, all the good cream and fritters. Um, she was born in July. She was born just a few days before we got her, and so um, she's plenty big enough to not be on mom. She's huge. Um, anyway, so that is what's going on there. We hope that we can um, possibly rent out a, a pasture this summer and put Fritter out on someone else's land. Um, Get her away from the farm and get a, like a long time away. If that'll help, we don't know. Any suggestions? Like I said, the weaning ring does not work. I don't want to do a permanent one. They have ones that have to go through the septum and have a big spike. I really don't want to do that to her. But if it comes down to it, doing that versus having to sell her, I don't know. But that. That weaning ring worked so well, and it actually worked for a long time with her. It worked really well, but then she figured out how to get it off, and um, we didn't notice it right away. And it was like within one day, she figured out how to get it off, went back to nursing, and real, then when we put it back in, she was like, oh, I can still nurse my mom. I can figure this out. She's too smart. So she figured it out. Anyway, so... Um, if anyone has any advice for that, that'd be great, because I really want to keep her, but, yeah. So we are to, now that we are back to milking, um, without the calf, when did I, I weaned her after, uh, Christmas. Christmas, maybe it was after hunting season. There's a lot going on, my brain is pretty fried. Um, we are up to like three, three and a half gallons a day, just morning milking. Same old. I don't think I've, I'm not a night milker. I don't care for it. Our evenings are busier. I like the morning quiet. The morning, it's 
early, but I just, I like that, um, that time to myself in the morning with all the kids. Apple's treats. She loves her banana peels. Um, yeah, so we are getting like three, three and a half gallons of milk. We are thrilled. We are, could not be happier that she did come back into milk. We're happy that she is going to be having another calf. Um, hi, Apple. You ready for your treat? Um, she, uh, yeah, and there's so much going on. There's way more that happened. <laughs> Way more going on than that, but that was quite a big story, and I figured I would fill you in on that. And maybe next Monday we'll tell you about the rest. I don't know, maybe not next Monday, but one of these times we'll tell you about the rest. And uh, yeah, so I am going to go give Apple her treats, yucky banana peels that she loves, um, and finish up my chores, get this milk to the house, and. I hope you all have a wonderful Monday, beautiful, blessed Monday, second day of spring, oh, is this the first full day of spring, right? <laughs> Yesterday was beautiful here, well, like 57 degrees, and my kids were like begging for the sprinkler, that's how you know when you live in Wisconsin, and they're like, it's so hot, <laughs> it was so beautiful out, but um, yeah, so have a excellent Beautiful, wonderful Monday, and I will hopefully see you next Monday. Bye.